Hey there, good afternoon. Dusseldorf just arrived on the train coming from Frankfurt. I am here for just one night because I'm taking a flight back to Greece. Thessaloniki tomorrow. Pretty stoked about that. I'm going to uh, talk about uh, sort of my plans and uh, travel decisions as far as why I decided to uh, leave this part of Europe, even though, of course, there is so much to see. I've just been getting a taste of Germany this time, my third visit to Germany, but uh, I hadn't really seen very much on my previous visits, so I just kind of passed through for six days coming up from Switzerland. I spent uh, two nights in Stuttgart and then three nights there in Frankfurt and then just a night here. So I'm uh, on my way to uh, my hotel and going to walk through the old town here in the process. Obviously this is not the old town here, so getting a uh, little contrast between the more modern city and the uh, old town, which I haven't seen yet, my first time here to Dusseldorf, so uh, I'm just kind of wandering in that direction and not really sure what to expect, but it should be just a couple of blocks away. So the uh, reason that I'm leaving uh, Germany and... Going back to Greece, which I had been to so many times before, is sort of a combination of factors. I was actually like seriously thinking about uh, taking a train to Chesky Krumlov, Czech Republic. That was my general plan just a couple of days ago. And then from there was uh, thinking of uh, seeing Brno, Czech Republic, and then head into Poland, which I haven't yet been to and really want to explore it, but I was thinking about it and just kind of realized I'm just not really in the mood for European city hopping and basically doing this, what I'm doing right now, just like going from European city to city and then walking through and showing the old town and, and whatnot when summer is winding down my 90 days in the Schengen zone of Europe is winding down. I have four weeks left and I really wanted to see more uh, of Greece and Greek islands and was just kind of more in the mood for kicking back by the sea, getting some sun, of which it is going to be very intense. It's going to be really hot down there. Nice uh, wheels here, a Rover. Interesting, some British car, I guess. Uba, Uba. Uh, Ruba? Ruba? Yes. It's a British car? Yeah, British car. Okay, yeah, because I yeah. saw the uh, flag, the flag four, there. 4.8 four eight motor. Four, uh, v, V8? V, V8? 9.8.8.4.8 motor. Okay. 4.8. I see. Is it yours? This. Is this your car or? No, no, no. Must no, not no, be. No, That's no. why you're riding a bike, I, huh? I, I have French FC car. I see. Yes. And you're uh, you're knowledgeable about cars. Yes. You know you know a lot I, about cars, or? Yeah, for what? For what? There we go. V8. V8. Yeah, yes, yes. yeah. Okay. A V8 in a little car yeah, like that. V8. That thing. That thing's got some power, huh? Yeah, well, power. Pretty fast. Yes. Yes, very good car. Yeah. But over, it's no, no. No, need, no more, no more. Yeah, okay, it's an old, old style. Yeah, what, but, what year? What year would you guess this? Very good motor. What is this like? Sixty nine or something? Or 
65, 65. 68, 69. Yeah, okay, somewhere in there. Uh, uh, of, of the time. Yeah. Late 60s, yeah. Yes. Cool, man. Well, thanks for the info. Leather, leather. 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 Yeah. Leather. Yes, yeah, very good. Car. Oh, yeah, that is a nice looking vehicle. It's a classic. Hey, have a good day. Okay, thank you. Danke. That was really random. Like, why did he <laughs> stop there and talk with me? I don't know, but uh, pretty cool. All right, so uh, yeah, it was just like realizing that I was more inspired by the idea of wandering around some Greek islands and jumping in the sea than, okay, I think this is the entrance into the old town. I mean, having uh, just done this kind of quick German tour, then I got a great little taste of, you know, the European city experience. Chesky Krumlov sounds like a really nice uh, city there and will be quite different, but at the same time will be kind of similar. That was the, uh, the reasoning, is let's just go for the, the sea and the sand and the sun and more of the Greek experience. And then we'll see after that because I have the uh, four weeks left in the Schengen zone. And so maybe I spend a couple of weeks back in Greece and then can uh, see a bit more before the summer is over. So we shall see, but uh, it's been a, a great couple of months. Here in Europe once again, in uh, Greece, Italy, Switzerland, Germany this time and we shall see if maybe I go to some other places like outside of the Schengen area because there is much more that you can see of course outside of the Schengen zone of countries of Western Europe basically all of Eastern Europe is not uh, part of the Schengen agreement and so the 90 days doesn't apply. All right, let's uh, check the phone, see if we're going in the uh, right general direction. Let's see. Yeah, I guess uh, I'm basically right in the old town. Although, that's a more modern building there. Maybe it's gonna get more, more old. All right, this is, wow, really busy. Let's see, straight up here or to the left down there. Let's take a look down this uh, street. <laughs> looks like there is a cool square down here, so let's uh, wander this way. So Dusseldorf here is named after the confluence of the Rhine River and the Dusel River. Therefore, Dusel, Dorf means village. So, village on the Dusel River, but of course, not a village anymore. It is the seventh largest city of Germany. And the uh, river, I guess it is the Rhine that is the closer one, it is the bigger one. The uh, Dussel is a uh, small tributary of the Rhine, and the Rhine River is very close by, so I will definitely 
keep on walking here and get to the uh, river, see where it opens up, and I guess that is where the uh, breeze is coming from, probably, coming off the river there. And I think it must be probably right over there. All right, this is a nice scene. Great spot for lunch or dinner, or just a beer. Definitely classic old Europe with a uh, mix of newer buildings as well. This is almost like a uh, beer garden going on. Okay, where did that river go? It is up ahead. Other side of this uh, sort of submerged square here. There it is. So I wonder if that is the uh, Duzel or the Rhine to the left there. It is kind of small. Seems like it's going to be a bigger river off to the right over there. We got a uh, old ship. Very old. Let's check the uh, phone here, see if this is where the Duzel meets the Rhine. Maybe that is just like not even really a river right here, just kind of a uh, a tank. But uh, the Rhine is straight ahead and it is a lot bigger. There we go. Ms. Allegra Düsseldorf's Schwemender Beer Garden. That thing looks just like the Space Needle in Seattle. Nice line of uh, old buildings. And the beer gardens continue. I think my hotel is straight up there somewhere, I think, kind of around the uh, bend of the river and then a little ways away from the river, the airport is out there. So it's kind of on the uh, way to the airport so that tomorrow it's a short, easy ride. Catch an Uber or taxi or whatever out there. Nice uh, direct flight. Dusseldorf to Thessaloniki. Like 90 minutes or maybe two and a half hours. And uh, when I first saw the uh, flight on Expedia, it was just 110 bucks. Great deal. And then I clicked on it and it had changed to 208, something like that including taxes, but not including luggage. And so it was because it was a last minute thing that the uh, prices can shift all of a sudden. All right, let's uh, get up to that church up there 
Looks like there's gonna be more Old Town around there. While I'm at it, might as well wander through a bit more. I realize that these uh, videos of the German cities haven't been particularly informative tours. This is basically me trying to uh, give a little taste of things, even though I was just kind of busy with like video editing and uh, trip planning and various other things. And so just didn't really have time for a, you know, comprehensive city tour that takes more time and effort research and more time filming and everything, but at least this gives you a little taste of it. Sounds like some, uh, I don't know what this is. Basketball championship, it looks like. Yeah, there's a uh, basketball net there. Missed. Too bad they have these uh, barriers, but of course they want you to pay to go in. It isn't full teams. Huh. So today is a Saturday, that is why it is so crowded. Nice to see people out and about enjoying themselves on a uh, cool summer's day. Enjoying the uh, cool weather, knowing that it's going to get a lot hotter tomorrow in Thessaloniki. The uh, highs are like 90. 598 something like that like it's gonna be really hot I'm definitely gonna want to head for the sea as soon as possible man that is a lot of scooters I have never rented one of these things never been on one period actually tattoo parlor Okay, let's uh, hang a left up here, see if there's more of the old town to explore. Okay, well, this is kind of looking like the uh, end of the action. So for Greece, then definitely planning on some islands. However, I am also thinking of going to some places on the mainland. Maybe in my first few days, rent a car and drive around for a couple of days and then catch a ferry out to the islands, but uh, there's one place in particular that I am really excited to see. We'll uh, see if that works out. It's about an hour away from Thessaloniki in the interior, so it's going to be blazing hot there, but uh, I think it will be worth the adventure for the historical experience, so uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, there you go, a little taste of Dusseldorf on the Rhine and Dussel rivers. Alright, next stop, Greece. See ya.